You need new knowledge. You need new skills to develop new income. Tama o tama? Tama! Let's just say for the past three months, you are averaging 50,000 pesos per month. Hindi tumataas, hindi bumababa, nagplapla to 50,000, 50,000, 50,000. It means you're doing something good, pero kulang ka sa breakthrough. Hindi tumataas. So for your income to increase, you need new knowledge. You need new skills. That's why tonight, this training is full of knowledge, is full of skills training. Do you follow? Yes. So that you will add up those knowledge into your brain. You will practice those new skills every day for you to perfect that particular skill. Are you ready to learn some more? Yes. Okay, my topic for the next few minutes, okay, will be about mastery of skills and persuasion techniques. For you to develop good relationship with people, for you to develop a huge organization online and offline, here and abroad, for you to have a runaway income. There are right words to use to create more curiosity to your prospects. There are right and proper words to use so that the chances of them signing up will be much, much higher comparing if you would not use these particular words. So let's proceed, okay? By the way, before I proceed, I'd like to greet, because we're live on Facebook, I'd like to greet all of those people and leaders watching from Europe. I know they're all excited with our pre-launch of our E247. Excited about it on? I would like to personally greet our leaders in Spain, Barcelona, in Paris, France, and in uh, Robilan, Italy. They're watching right now and they're learning as well. So my topic is uh, I'm a boss. I am skill master. There are many skills that we are learning every day. Skills that you have learned from your uplines. Ang mga uplines yun ba nagtuturo ng skills? Good. Now the management, we also have our own skills training. Now why do you need this? Why do you need to master this new set of skills that you have learned from your uplines, from the management? Because what you have learned many, many years ago from school, from your job, those are not enough to build businesses. Kunwari, estudyante ka. Yung skills na natutunan mo sa school, pumasok ng maaga. Mag-aral. Ipasa ang exam, sumunod sa teacher. Tama ka, tama. <coughs> Pag empleyado, maging nasa tamang oras. Mag-bandiklak, gawin yung trabaho. Magkaroon ng AIDS. Ano yung AIDS? As if doing something pag nandyan na si boss. So what do I mean? Meron kang set of skills and knowledge sa trabaho mo. Meron kang sariling set of skills and knowledge nung nag-aaral ka. But right now, you're doing business with the Indloba. Tama ka, tama. You can never achieve success using the same knowledge and the same skills nung nag-aaral ka para sa Inglaba. Do you follow? You will never achieve success using the skills and knowledge nung empleyado ka para i-apply sa business ng Inglaba. Tama ka, tama. You need new set of skills, new set of knowledge that you need to master. Everybody say master. It's not enough na alam mo lang. It's not enough na nagawa mo minsan. You need to master the skills. Because those people who have mastered the skills, sila yung kumikita ng malaki. Gusto mo bang kumita ng malaki? Yeah. Now you need to learn this. Para before the year ends, praktisado ka. At pagpasok ng 2019, handang-handa ka na at ang buong grupo mo. Are you ready for this? One of the basic things that you need to learn in skill mastery is what they call space repetition system. Ito yung mga bagay na paulit, ulit, ulit. You probably are wondering, Doc, bakit sa office laging may NDO? Tama o tama? Bakit sa office laging may product training? Tama tama? Doc, bakit sa office laging may OPP? May ASAP 1, 
may ASAP 2, may leaders meeting, may online training. And most of the time, you, not you, not you naman ang sinasabi. Napansin niyo ba yan? So you need to master and understand this. Because if you would not understand this, you're missing so much. For some other people, hindi nyo maintindihan. Atend ako ng NDO ni Sir Arnel Limpin. Wow! Galing! The following week siya uli. Bakit a-attend uli ako? The following week siya uli. Bakit a-attend uli ako? Hindi naiintindihan na iba why they need to attend a lot of times to fully grasp and understand what they're teaching, what they're mentoring, what they're coaching. In this concept of space repetition system, according to this concept, kailangan daw ang katawan, our minds and our bodies, mag-subject to a series of rigorous repetitions para ma-adapt ng utak mo at ng katawan mo. <clears throat> Example, when we were little kids, o kung may anak ka, ilang beses kinanta yung kantang ABC or the alphabet song bago mo ma-memorize. Not once. Tama o tama? Not twice. Tama o tama? A lot of times. Ilang beses pinatugtog yung ABCD? Ilang beses mo kinanta sa anak mo yung ABCD? Ilang beses narinig mo yan nung maliit ka? Sa school, sa bahay, bago ikaw mismo ma-memorize yung bagay na yan nang walang mali. Again, nang walang mali. Programs your brain and your body until you get it correctly. Nakarinig ka na ba ng batang kumanta ng alphabet song na tama sa tono, tama sa simula, pero may mali sa gitna? <clears throat> Di ba may ganun? Kasi hindi yan pa namamaster yung bagong knowledge. The skills is, is there already. But it's not perfected. Same goes with what we do. How we invite. How we prospect. How we follow up. How we close. How we duplicate. Dapat yan paulit-ulit mong inaaral at paulit-ulit mong ginagawa for you to perfect that skill. It's not enough na umupo ka sa NDO, narinig mo, ah okay, gagawin ko na. But in reality, on the first few times na ginagawa mo, chances are, may mali kang ginagawa. Tama o tama? <clears throat> Now, here's the story. Let's just say, tinuturuan ka mag-drive. <clears throat> you turuan ka mag-drive ng automatic. O yan yung gasolina. Yan yung brake. Pagkakaliwa ka, magsisignal ka pa kaliwa. Pagkakanan, sisignal pa kanan. Pag ubo mo lang, yan yung mga bagay na gagawin mo habang nagda-drive. Tinuturo sa'yo, theoretically hindi ka pa nagda-drive. Di ba may ganun? Pero pag aktual na nag-drive ka na, iba pa kiramdam. Tama o tama? Pag biglang siningitan ka ng motor sa kaliwat kanan, pag binusinahan ka ng bus sa EDSA, iba-iba na yung napipindot mo. Iba na yung calculation mo. Tama o tama? And it will take some practice. Sabi pa rin sa'yo practice. It will take some practice, probably five times, ten times, twenty times to pagdadrive sa EDSA para mo talaga makabisado yung pagdadrive sa EDSA. Hindi enough yung tinuruan ka lang ng apply mo o ganito mag-imbita, ganito mag-follow up, ganito mag-close ng sis. Sabihin mo, alam ko na, kaya ko na. Hanggat hindi mo mag-inagawa ng paulit, ulit, ulit because our brain needs to practice that paulit-ulit in repetition. Your voice, your posture, the way you pronounce our products, our business, you need to repeat that on a regular basis para masanay ka. Kaya nga yung iba, may script. Ano ba rin sa script? May binabasa muna. Friend, may negosyo ako. Okay lang ka pwede. Bukas o bukas. Pero yung isa sumula, binabasa. Friend, may business ako. Kailan ka pwede? Bukas o bukas? Halatang halatang binabasa. Pero after some time, comfortable na. After some time, medyo nagpapatawa na. After some time, personalized, customized na invitation. Okay? Friend ABC. Alam ko, magagaling ka sa recto. Pero maganda yung business ko. Kailan ka pwede? Bukas o bukas. Nagawan mo na ng konting 
Adlib, kasi sanay na yung katawan mo eh. Sanay na yung utak mo eh. Pero in the beginning, you need a script. You need to follow the script. You need to repeat that script over and over and over again. Para mawala yung kaba, para mawala yung hiya, para masanay yung utak na tumatawag ka, pag biglang nag-reply o pag biglang sumagot sa'yo, ano ba yan? Alam mo na yung isasagot mo? Hindi pag sinabi, ano ba yan? Natuto lala ka, hindi mo alam kung ano isasagot, bigla may bababa. <laughs> Nangyari ba yan? Palibasa, hindi sana yung sistema ng katawan. Just like what I'm saying, tinuruan ka mag-drive ng kakilala mo, sinasabi, o ganti manibela, ganyan, yan yung signal, pero sa aktual, iba. Pag drive mo sa aktual, kung ano-ano yung napindot mo, Imbis na pindutin mo yung brake, gas ang pinindot mo, lalo umabante. May mga nangyayaring ganong accident. Simply because their bodies and their minds are not prepared. They're not prepared towards reality. Towards the actual thing that will happen. Same goes with us. This kind of training, it's in-house. You're listening to me right now. You're learning to me right now. Now, it's going to be useless if you will not apply it repeatedly. That's the key word. If you would not apply it repeatedly, kung hindi mo gagawin ito ng paulit-ulit, useless. Nakinig ka lang. May natutunan ka lang. Pero pag hindi mo in-apply ng paulit-ulit, saya. Because the key word here is repetition. Everybody say repetition. Repetition. Parang yung muscle. Para lumaki yung bicep, hindi ka naman magbubuhat ng barbell, isang beses lang. Bubuhatin mo yung barbell o yung dumbbell, pa ulit, 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 para lumaki yung biceps. Tama o tama? It even will come or arrive to a point na yung buhat mo last week para mas lumaki pa siya. Same goes with our brain. Scientifically, may mga neurons yan na nagmamaster ng mga bagay na ginagawa at alam mo. Pag paminsan-minsan mo lang siya ginagawa, hindi niya na ma-master. Nauutal ka, pinakabahan ka, pinagpapawisan ka, biglang sasakit yung tiyan mo. Pero pag maya't maya mo na ginagawa, kabisado mo na, para ka lang kumakain, madali na mag-invite. Madali na mag-follow up. So all of the skills that you will learn today, master it by repetition. Everybody say repetition. So if you will remember one word for my topic tonight, remember these words, repetition. <clears throat> Scientifically, theoretically, medically, it's proven. If you will subject your minds and your body to space, may pahinga, pero uulitin, uli, uulitin at uulitin ulit. Because of the system, your minds and your bodies will adapt to it. This is the difference between someone who runs, yung tumatakbo lang, versus a professional runner. Yung tumatakbo lang, pag sinigawan mo, takbo, tatakbo lang yan. Mabilis. Natataranta. Pwedeng pasikot-sikot na ganyan. Pero yung runner, na sanay ng tumakbo araw-araw, pag yun tumakbo, mas mabilis. Mas may sistema. Mas may technology. Tama po ba? Why? Sanay na yung katawan tumakbo. Alam niya na kung saan yung daan. Alam niya na yung tamang paraan ng pagtakbo. Baka yung sapatos niya, tama pa. Unlike sa taong sasabihin mo lang natakbo. That's the difference between an average networker and a professional networker. Yung professional, alam niya yung ginagawa niya. Why? Kasi paulit-ulit niya nang ginawa. Do you follow? Now, the good news is this. Do you want to be a professional networker? Because a professional networker is someone who earns a lot is someone who has a huge organization online and offline is someone who has a lot of success or has a lot of leaders below him do you want to be a professional networker yes. well a professional networker repeats repeatedly doing things that will improve their craft that will improve their skills now the good news is this today is december december 7. Thanksgiving season, Christmas season, year-end season. Tama po ba? Yes. <clears throat> Marami sa labas, nagpa-party-party na Friday pa ngayon. Friday night, gimikan. Tama tama? Marami sa labas ang utak, inuman na. Marami sa labas, party na. Marami sa labas, gimikan na. Friday ngayon eh. 
But you guys are all in here learning. So ano ibig sabihin mo? Angat ka na sa kanila. Inihahanda mo na yung utak at yung katawan mo to success level. While others are partying, you guys are learning. By the time you master the skills because lagi mo nang ginagawa, baka sila hindi pa nila alam kung ano yung skills. Baka sila wala pang knowledge, pero ikaw professional na. Tama ka tama? So create that. Create that thinking, I need to do this properly, repeatedly. Paulit-ulit para masana yung katawan ko, masana yung posture ko, yung boses ko, ng mga bagay na bago kong natutunan. Do you follow? Yes! Muscle memory versus skill memory. Okay, skills memory, according to studies, you will only adapt. Everybody say adapt. You will only adapt and learn 50% of what you hear, of what you see, of what you experience after doing it five times. Everybody say five times. Kaya may maririnig kang apply, sasabihin sa'yo, attend kang NDO five times. Attend kang OPP five times. Attend kang product demo five times. Attend kang ASAP 1, ASAP 2 five times. Ikaw naman kakamot, bakit five times? Para matutunan mo ng paulit-ulit, para pag ginagawa mo na, paulit-ulit din. Kasi na kailangan ng sistema yan sa katawan. You need to hear it repeatedly so that when you practice it, you will also do it repeatedly. That's the power of learning new things, of developing a skill. Kaya yung iba hindi five times eh, yung iba ten times. Nakarinig ka ba kayo ng ganon? Why ten times? Kasi nga, 50%. 50% lang ng narinig, nakita, ginawa mo, ang mariretain sa utak mo na magiging skills after doing it five times. Kung 50% lang, di pa ginawa mong 10 times, 100%. Tama ka tama? Does it make sense? So you need to do it, to do it a lot of times. Kaya nga ako, when I read a book, when I say I read a book, say in a month, next month, babasahin ko ulit siya. The following month, babasahin ko ulit. Ika third month, fourth month, fifth, babasahin ko ulit. Ask me why. At times, may nabasa ako doon sa book, parang dinaanan ko lang na hindi ko naintindihan. Pero pagkabasa ko the second time, tsaka ako siya naintindihan. The third time, may nakita pa akong panibagong learning within the same paragraph nung binasa ko na hindi ko naintindihan first month, second month ko binasa. Do you follow? Yes. Parang hindi o. Oh. Parang may dinagtag siya ron, pero wala naman. Yun din. Ask me why. Kasi doon ka na natututo. Doon mo na nare-realize. Ah, kaya pala ganun. Now that you finally realize you want to put it into actual, gagawin mo na, alam mo na kung paano gawin ang tama. Okay? That's why we have informed you to attend all of these activities a lot of times. For you to see a lot of things within the same concept. Para mas lalong bumakon sa iyo, ah, kailangan pala talagang seryoso. Hindi pwede yung gagawin ko to part-time na nga para pang hindi seryoso. Full-time na nga, pero gigising ka alas bos ng tanghali para magnegosyo. So you can do it wholeheartedly, seriously, professionally, and effectively. Do you understand now? So all of these things, kaya pa ulit-ulit may kinalaman sa repetition. Okay na next slide. Okay. Now, for the next few minutes, guys, I will guide you into effectively using words and phrases how to close the sale. Everybody say closing. closing. This is one of my favorite topics, closing. This is the part wherein the prospects are now thinking, sasali ba ako o hindi ako sasali? Ayan. Kasi yung pagpapresent ng product, pagpapresent ng business, madali yan. But when you're actually closing the sale, that's the part that you will see, okay, sasali na to. That's the part when you can say, okay, magsi-seven heads to. 
That's the part that you can say, okay, gagawa nito ng paraan. Exciting ba yun? Yes! Gusto mo ba yung prospects laging kaya mag-7 accounts? Yes! Gusto mo ba yung prospects laging iniisip big business and international business? Yes! Okay, let's proceed. First, don't dwell on the details of the company. Don't dwell on the details of the products. Okay? Focus on end results. Kasi minsan pa nagpe-present, lalo kung nga product. Prospect A, ang C24-7, napakaraming ingredients. 140 ingredients. May 12 mushroom. Okay, reshi, blase, agaricus, jambu shiitake, mama shiitake. Pag di ka sumali, maatake. <coughs> Habang pinapanggit mo yung ingredients, yung prospect mo, oh, 140. Oh, 20 na lang. Oh, 40 pa. Ang dami. Hanggang saan to kina? They're not interested on the specifics. <coughs> on the details. Guys, the prospects are interested on end results. Anong pakinabang yan sa katawan ko? Anong pakinabang ng business mo sa buhay ko? Kunwari, bigla mong sinabi, Sir, sa business natin, kikita ka ng 32,000 pesos per day, 224,000 pesos per week, 998,000 per month, average one account. Sabi ng prospect mo, uh, okay. Samantalang ang laki ng pera, binanggit mo. Tama o tama? Kasi para sa'yo, yan yung mga words, terminologies na pinag-uusapan natin sa loob ng Inglobal. Tama o tama? A global, nature's way, billion dollar company a year. Di ba? 140 ingredients, C24-7, madaling ma-absorb, within 5 to 6 minutes, absorb na siya, VCAP, so and so. Pero sa labas na kayong global, sa prospects, hindi nila alam yun. So do not use terminologies na ginagamit natin sa loob. Let's use words na maiintindihan niya. Kasi pag ganun mo kinausap yung prospect, para ka nag-cha-Chinese. Hindi ka naiintindihan ng prospects. Do you follow? Yes. Kunwari, pag kaya na, ano ba yung products nyo? Products namin supplement, nakakatulong sa may diabetes. Lumalakas ang katawan. Lagi kang malakas, kahit puyat ka, energetic. Do you follow? Yes. And result. Pag sumali ka sa negosyo namin, Kikita ka ng malakit, mababago ang buhay mo, pwede ka pang bumili ng sasakyan. Nakita mo yung difference versus dun sa, pwede kang bumita 32,000 pesos per day, 200 plus per week, 998,000 per month. Versus sa, kikita ka ng malakit, pwede ka pang bumili ng kotse, ang guwa mo ko siguro pag nakakotse ka. Do you follow? Yes. Yung prospect pag nakita yan, ha? Ako magkakakotse? Titingin pa sa salamin yun. Oo nga, pogi ako pag nagkakotse. Naiimagine niya na yung sarili niya nagkakotse. So, ang laging tanong ng prospect, ano magagawa niyan sa buhay ko? Huwag mong sagutin ng 32,000 pesos per day. Huwag mong sagutin ng 1 million pesos per week. Mas maganda sagutin niyo ng bagay-bagay na magbabago para sa kanya. Do you understand that? Sell the destination, not the airplane. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin mo? Saan ka ba pupunta? Pupunta ako sa Maldives. Maraming taga-ibang lahi dyan. Maraming taga-ibang bansa. Lahat naka-swimsuit, sexy, magaganda, mapaputi. Naglalaro na yung utak ng kausap mo. Iba-ibang itsura, iba-ibang kulay. Enjoy na enjoy. Do you understand? Focus, this is one of the important feature when you close. Focus on feelings and emotions. Everybody say feelings. Everybody say emotions. Focus on feelings and emotions of the product or the business. Kunwari, if you're talking about the product, pag tira, ano ba yung product nyo? Product natin supplement. Pag ininom mo to, lalakas ka. Mabubuhat mo pa yung mga anak mo. Di ba lagi kang pagod at puyat? Oh my! Hindi ko na nga... Pagdating ko sa bahay, tulog kagad ako eh. 
Talaga, pag ininom ko yun, lalakas ako, makapaglaro pa ako sa mga anak ko. Yes! So, yung effect, yung effect na may mararamdaman siya. Okay? You focus on that. Sa business side, you need to be specific and relevant. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ano yung magagawa niyang business para sa akin? Kung ano meron ako ngayon? Kunwari, your prospect. Yung prospect mo, ah, executive. Okay? Nagtatrabaho sa isang malaking kumpanya. Vice President. Alam mo, malaki sweldo. Di kotse, kaya lang pressure. Kinakailangan magtrabaho hanggang madaling araw. Kinakailangan walang pahinga, walang bakasyon. Dere-derecho. High pressured executive. Okay? Paano mo siya ikuklose? Pag na-present mo na yung product, saka yung business na sabihin mo, you know what? Maganda sa business natin. Pag kumita ka ng malaki, marami ka ng oras para sa pamilya mo. Magiging masaya at mag enjoy ka na makapagbabakasyon ka pa sa iba't ibang lugar kasama yung pamilya mo. Do you understand? Kung ano, yung hindi niya nararamdaman at malungkot siya doon, pasisiyahin mo siya sa resulta kapag ina-offer mo yung business mo. You become relevant to his issues. How do you do that? Ayan. Paint a vivid picture in their imagination ng gusto nila. Do you follow? Paint a vivid picture of the things that they want in their minds. Okay? If you can customize it and personalize it, mas maganda. How do you personalize it? Siyempre, kailangan kilala mo sila, sasabihin mo sa kanila. Kunwari, pangalan nila, Ronel. Alam mo, Ronel, alam ko, negosyante ka. Pero sa traditional business, wala kang oras. The good thing with AIM Global, you will have lots of time for your families, for your hobbies. Makapag-enjoy ka, kasama pamilya mo, makapagta-travel pa kayo ng libre. So, pag nai-imagine nyo, oo nga, sa traditional business ko, ako nagbubukas, ako nagsasara. Lagi ako nakabantay sa mga empleyado. Pero with AIM, because of our leverage system, you can attain financial freedom and time freedom. Tama ka, tama? Customize it to their issues. Kaya kinakailangan, alam mo yung prospects mo. Hindi pwedeng yung ginamit mo pang closing dito, gagamitin mo pang closing dito, gagamitin mo pang closing sa kanya, pang closing din sa kanya. Eh, iba-ibang issues na mga yan. Tama o tama? So you need to customize and personalize it. Eto, this is the script. <clears throat> lalo na ngayon. Lalo na ngayon, na bakasyon, maraming party, maraming reunion, magbabarkada noon, magkikita-kita, pag dino, ano ginagawa mo? What do you do? What keeps you busy? Paano ka sasagot? Ah, uh, uh, nag-network ako. Ah, uh, nagpo-food supplement ako. Ah, uh, may online business ako. How do you answer that that will pick their interest? capture their interest, and they might probably join you with a high percentage. Huwag na huwag kayo sasagot ng generic. Pag sumagot ka, specific, kaya na kanina sabi ko, customize, personalize. Ano ibig sabihin? To blank so that they can blank. Pag sabi, ano ginagawa mo? Tumutulong ako sa mga bla 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 para maging bla 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 para maging bla bla bla. I help people earn a lot so that they can be rich. Those are generic. Do you follow? Wag na wag kang sasagot ng generic. Kunwari ang nagtanong sa'yo, istudyante. Sir, mom, ano ba ginagawa niyo? Well, I help students, students siya. So, customize ka agad, specific. Tama o tama? Kasi pag sinabi mo, I help people, no, lahat ng tao na naman yan. Parang hindi siya masyadong makarelate. Pero kung siya alam mo, estudyante, pag sinabi mo, I help students, uy, ako yun ah. Estudyante ako ah. Immediately, they could relate. It will pick their interest. Do you follow? So tuloy natin, I help students to earn while they're studying and help their parents in earning. Specific, estudyante, kikita ng malaki, baka katulong sa mga magulang. Maganda o napakaganda? 
Ano naman nararamdaman ng estudyante? Masala ba lungkot? You focus on their feelings. <coughs> you focus on their emotions. Ngayon, pag uwi mo, bago ka, mag, bago ka matulog, you name 10 occupations. Teacher, engineer, doctor, dentista, okay, bumbero, politiko, ano pa? Estudyante, out of school youth, ano pa? Mag-name ka ng sampung occupation, ipasok mo dyan, mag-practice ka. Nuwari, kausap mo, teachers. What do you do? Well, I help teachers to help others attain lots of time so that they won't be bored with making lectures and doing their routines because they have more time right now with their families. So now you're being specific with the issues of the teachers. So you use that. Para pag nag-reunion ka, oh, yun na ginagawa mo ngayon. Ako, tumutulong ako sa mga taong tulad mo para hindi na magtanong-tanong kasi marami na silang pera at masaya sila. Know their issues, answer their issues, and when you do that, they will join you. Do you follow? What else? <clears throat> yes, okay, ladder techniques. At times, for people to say yes, don't ask them the big questions right away. Ask the little questions first, and then wrap it up. Sunod-sunodin mo na dapat yung sakit, sagot niya, oo, 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 para yung huling-huling tanong, nasasali na siya, oo rin yung sagot niya. Do you follow? Paano yun? Bakit tinawag na yes, okay? In English, syempre, ang sagot yes. Tayo mga Pilipino, usually okay ba? That's how you use it. So after ma-present yung product tsaka yung business, you ask them, okay ba turuan kita kumita kahit part-time ng malaki? Tsaka si Sarah, ang sasagot niyan, okay. Hindi sasagot niya na hindi. Hindi okay sa akin turuan mo ako para kumita ng part-time. <laughs> Walang sasagot ng gano'n. Usually ang sagot niyan, ah, okay. Kasi non-friction, hindi siya hard sell. Okay lang ba? Turuan kita kumita ng part-time? Oo. Oh, okay lang ba? Pag natutunan mo ito, ituro mo rin sa, sa iba? Oo. Oh, okay lang ba? Pag natutunan mo ito, gawan mo ng paraan yung 6980? Oo. Oh, by the time you reach the second, the third, the fourth, okay, ayan na, nirarump up mo na yan. Sa kanya na mismo nang galing, nasasali siya. Pag natapos yung product, yung business, nasabi mo, maganda ba yung product ko? Oh, maganda ba yung business ko? Oh, okay lang ba? Ituro ko sa'yo kung papalo ka kumita ng part-time, ng malaki? Okay lang. Okay lang ba pag naintindihan mo to gawin mo ng parahan yung seven heads? Okay lang. Okay lang ba pag naintindihan mo yung beauty ng seven heads? Subali ka this week? Oo. Oh, oh. Ramping up the yes and okay. Simulan mo sa madali. Madali, oo, oh, oh, madali, oo, oh, oh, madali, oo, oh, oh, sumali, oo, oh, oh, seven heads, oo oh, oh, na rin. Kasi iniisa-isa mo. Do you follow? Again, it takes practice. Dapat ma-practice mo yan. Because, or kasi, technique. According to studies, kapag ikaw tinanong at sumagot ka ng ganito, 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 kasi, Kahit ano yung kasi o yung dahilan mo, people will always accept that. People will always perceive that na okay. May isang study ginawa, ang daming nakapila sa Xerox machine. Ang daming nakapila. Tapos sisingit ka. Sabi nung, sabi nung sisingit, para pwede bang mauna ako? Pag ganun lang ang sentence mo, pwede bang mauna ako? Sabi ng mga tao nakapila, hindi pwede. May friction. Hard sell. Pero pag nilagyan mo ng because, kahit walang kapwenta-kwenta yung kasi, chances are 80% papayagan ka. Ano ginawa ng study? May nakapila sa Xerox machine. May sumingit. Sabi nga, pare, pwede bang mauna ako kasi kailangan mo magpakopya eh. Eh talaga naman, pag nagpa-Xerox ka, magpapakopya ka, diba? Alam mo, sabi ng mga nakapila, sige, sige, sige. That's the power of because or kasi. Kaya pag nagko-close ka, ito yung pinakamadali. Alam mo, sumali ka sa Inglobal. 
Kasi maganda to. Ha? Ah, maganda nga. <laughs> Kahit mababaw. Lagyan mo na kasi. Alam mo, sumali ka sa yung global kasi mababago buhay mo. Alam mo, sumali ka sa yung global kasi napapanahon. Alam mo, sumali ka sa yung global kasi December. Ano ngayon? Wala lang, December. Pero dahil ginamit mo yung kasi, mas effective yun kaysa sabihin mo, alam mo, sumali ka sa yung global. Tapos. Mas effective ito. Alam mo, sumali ka sa yung global kasi pag sumali ka ngayon, sumali ka ngayon. Talaga? Oo, pag sumali ka ngayon, nakasali ka na ngayon kasi ganun yun eh. Sige, sasali na ako. Use that kasi it's effective, I tell you. Pag naging effective, gawin mong viral, ha? Mag-post ka sa Facebook, effective yung kasi technique ni Doc Ed. Itatag ka namin. Extreme words. Biggest, boldest, largest, healthiest, newest, most innovative. Ayan. Lahat na ng most, 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 saka yes, yes, yes. Pag bumalik ka partner ng C24-7 na kininom mo, ito na yung pinaka-healthy na maiinom mo sa buong buhay mo. You're not lying. Totoo naman, pag ininom niya yun, yun yung pinaka-healthy na nainom niya. Bakit ano ba iniinom niya? Kanin, ulam. Araw-araw. O di pa gumilom ng C24-7, yun talaga yung pinaka-healthy. Tama o tama? Use extreme words. Okay? Marami yan. Alam mo, in global, ito na yung pinakamagandang company sa buong mundo. Talaga? Oo. Partner, pag sumali ka sa amin, sa linya ko, apply natin, pinakamalupit. Partner, pag sumali ka sa amin, yung grupo natin na may pinakamatindi. Pag mga gumamit ka ng mga pinaka-pinaka, yung mga prospect, ha? Hmm. Kahit hindi na intindihan. Kahit sabi mo yung apply natin, pinaka-guwapo pag tingin. Pag tingin, abay, guwapo nga. <laughs> Repetition and general acceptance. Most of the time, you're using ma'am, meeting after meeting. Tama o tama? Minsan nagbibilog-bilog, nakatayo, minsan nakaupo. Tama o tama? Nakapalibot, halo-halong members and prospects. Tama o tama? Dapat ang ginagawa ng mga members ganito. Paulit-ulit. Alam mo, maganda talaga yung global. Ano ibig sabihin nyo? Kung nakapalibot kayong ganyan, nakaupo or nakatayo, nakikinig yung mga prospects after the presentation, meeting after meeting na, yung mga naka-intersect na members, pag may nagsalita doon, nag-post, sabihin sa prospect, alam mo, maganda talaga yung global. Di maririnig yun ang prospect. Nagsalita ulit yung nasa gitna. Pag hinto, sasabihin yung nasa kabila, alam mo, maganda talaga yung global. Maulit ka lang ng limang beses na marinig yan, pag uwi yan, maganda talaga yung global. Maganda talaga yung global. Kasi yung nakapaligid sa kanya, tanggap yung konsepto yun. For him, aba, ang dami nagsasabi. Maganda yung global kasi bla bla bla. Pasali na. That's what you call general acceptance. And through repetition, naririnig at naririnig at naririnig. Tatanggapin niya ng totoo yan. At gagawa niya ng paraan. Create urgency technique, lalo na ngayon, December. Okay? Global package natin, 6980. Tama ka, tama? Pero ang value niya, naglalaro sa 8,000 to 9,000 pesos. Tama o tama? Pwede mo sabihin, alam mo, sumali ka na ngayong December. Bakit? Kasi yung package, ang value, 8 to 10,000. Pero ngayong December, 6980 lang. Alam nga? Oo! 6 to 10,000 ang value niya. Pero ngayong December, 6, 9, 80 lang para sa'yo. Sige, sige, gagawa ko ng parang sasali na ako bukas. Pagdating ng January, 6, 9, 80 pa rin. You're not lying. The value is 8, 9, 10,000. Tama o tama? Pero bakit 6, 9, 80? 
just to create urgency. You give them that option. <clears throat> Ito for male and female. If you have the capacity to lower your voice, because if you could lower your voice, it's more profound, it's more convincing, chances are, masasali sila pag mas mababa yung boses mo. Kung kaya mong practicing yun. Okay? If you have the capacity and the talent to do that, do so. Because according to studies, pag mas mababa ang boses mo, mas kapanipaniwala ka. Okay? Kaya pansinin nyo, pag yung mga applies nyo, medyo bumababa ang boses. Alam mo na ibig sabihin nyo. Sama ka sa akin. Saan? Saan na? Doon. <laughs> ano gagawin natin ito na? Doon tayo. <laughs> When you have a deep, profound voice, mas madali silang makukonvince. If you can use that. Are you learning? Yes! Use all of those things. Use all of those things. By the way, I'd like to update you guys this coming January 2019, every two weeks time travel! Every two weeks, either Palawan or Hong Kong, may lilipat. So, Texo, just want to be clear, every fifth GC, so in global would be known, so in global, may free shopping! Last but not certainly the least, this coming January 2019, sisimula na natin ang weekend encashment every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? And then, meron pa tayong tiyatawag na emergency encashment. Kunwari, may laman yung account mo. Nakapag-encash ka na. In the morning, in the afternoon, pwede pa. Maximum of 50,000 kapag emergency through 